Hey everybody, I'm Logan. Um, I do the bugs here at Josh's Frogs, but I want to talk to you some more about the clay springtail cultures that we have. I want to show them off a little bit, talk a little bit why they're awesome. Uh, so this is what you're going to get in the mail when you order them. This is the final product. Um, it's a 16 ounce cup with a couple hundred grams of the pelletized calcium clay in there. Um, there's tons of babies in there. Uh, we just fed this culture yesterday and so they're all at the top. Um, but let's look at how it kind of starts off because it's kind of interesting. So we make this calcium bearing clay. It's a mixture of a number of different clays and minerals and uh, some springtail foods and just things that they're gonna enjoy eating as well as um, colonizing. It's really fluffy. <laughs> Um, but what we do is we turn that into like a putty and then we take that putty and we turn it into these pellets and that does one main thing and that increases the uh, surface area of these cultures. So when you have a springtail culture, they're going to colonize the surface. And so if we only used that putty, it's only going to give them like a two dimensional layer for them to live on. Um, so we fill it up with the pellets, rehydrate them and that just gives us maximum surface area. Um, what that will do though, when you harvest them, and these guys are really easy to harvest from. What we do is you invert it upside down. The clay will stay in the uh, cup and then you just give some taps there and all the springtails that are just at the surface are gonna fall down um, where you can use them for, you know, whatever you wanna use them for. The clay cultures are great, um, especially if you're feeding like thumbnail dart frogs where they have a hard time taking up calcium, um, those little frogs, you know, they eat springtails and it's pretty hard to dust them with um, calcium when you feed them. And so you culture them on calcium clay. That way when you feed them to the baby dart frog, um, they're filled with calcium, they're good for them. So that's nice. Um, as well as just if you're inoculating a bunch of bioactive tanks, you can just go down the line and tap them out. A ton of them come out. Um, it's one of the great reasons with the pellets is even though it looks like we harvested a bunch off of it, underneath that layer in all those little gaps and cracks is just tons of babies still. So this will bounce back in less than a week um, and then you'll be good to go. It's quite a bit faster than the charcoal cultures. Um, I prefer the clay cultures over charcoal personally. When you harvest from a charcoal culture, you fill it up with water and then you dump them out. You know, springtails float to the top, so those get dumped out. Oftentimes though, you end up flooding uh, like eggs and baby springtails. So you can kind of skip a generation, resulting in just kind of a slower time of them bouncing back. Uh, so the clay cultures, they bounce back really quick. So I have in my house just a bunch of tanks, but I only have one of these and it always seems um, to be enough. So. You don't have to feed them like as often. Another great thing is they do eat this uh, clay. They ingest a lot of the minerals and things in there that they need. Um, so you can get away with feeding them once every week, once every two weeks. Uh, if you're using them a lot, I'd recommend feeding, you know, maybe twice a week or something. Um, but it, you can get away with feeding them a lot less in these. Uh, also a lot, rest, eh, <laughs> a lot less risk of pests in them. Uh, the charcoal cultures, having that stagnant water on the bottom tends to bring in, you know, some mites, some, you know, forehead flies, little moths, things like that. Um, these ones do pretty well um, keeping pests out just because there's no standing water. It's just that damp clay medium. So it should be less of a risk with that. Um, yeah, I, I recommend these a lot. I think if you have a ton of tanks, if you're breeding dart frogs, um, you should absolutely invest in one of these or transition from charcoal over to the clay cultures. Um, yeah, I think they're great. Go ahead to joshesfrogs.com. Pick one up, pick five up, all of them. It's up to you, um, but they're on there.